Something I notice when you look up how to improve my picking on guitar, you end up with a bunch of lessons that assume you want to shred. You know, it'll go something like, like here's this finger exercise and it'll be this complicated, unmusical thing. And the end goal is for you to play it at like 160 beats per minute, 16th notes, you know, and those things are great at a certain point in your journey, but I'm betting most of you here probably want to improve your picking in a more realistic way. You know, not everybody wants to be some like Eddie Van Halen style rock star, you know, and picking is a skill that we all benefit from. So today I want to give you some picking fundamentals and I want to base it on real things that you're actually going to play, not just some exercise that you're never going to use in a song. And I'm going to have all these exercises tabbed out on a worksheet that I'll put on my Patreon page. I'll have a link down below for that. Also down below, you'll find a link to my free lead guitar ebook, which is completely free for all my subscribers. Now onto our lesson. In my opinion, there are two things that you're going to want to do with picking and that you're going to end up doing a lot. One is playing melodies on your guitar. And the other is to take some chord shapes and arpeggiate them or pick them, you know, and even mix that with some strumming. So today I want to focus on some exercises that are going to help us with those real things that you're actually going to play on guitar and be able to accomplish. Now, when it comes to picking individual notes, you need to get used to feeling the string tension with your pick. And that sounds easy and complicated at the same time, you know, but all it means is when you pluck the open string, like the thickest string, the whole string is vibrating from end to end. And it makes a really big vibration. You know, that's what makes that low note. And your pick has to move more in order to kind of catch the string. And if you still don't know what I'm getting at, let's take it the other way. Let's press it down at the 12th fret. You know, we've cut the string in half. It's not vibrating as much, or it's still vibrating, but the vibrations aren't as big. And when you go down and up with your pick, it feels different. It feels tighter versus the open string. And it's really subtle, but it's gonna make a difference, you know? And I just want you to try that. Just going down, up, down, up on the open string, and then on the 12th fret at your own pace, just to feel that. You know, because when you're playing melodies, that tension is constantly changing. So your picking hand needs to be able to subconsciously adjust to it. And I've never seen this mentioned in any books or anything like that, but I had a problem getting my picking up to a certain speed. And once I did these exercises that I'm about to show you that deal with that changing tension, it helped me so much in terms of feeling out where the strings are and just being able to do this stuff without having to think too hard about my picking. And it's really simple. You know, we, we already did the first one, just going down, up, down, up, going between the open string and the 12th fret, you know, back and forth. Uh, we could even set our metronome one and two and you know the downstrokes line up with the click and the ands are the upstrokes between the click one and two and one and two and one and two and one and two and. and the beauty of the metronome obviously is that you get to keep track of where you're at in terms of the speed it has perfect rhythm so by playing with it you're absorbing that perfect rhythm and improving your own. But you know, first you want to count out loud, do it at your own pace, and then integrate the metronome once you're comfortable. And the next thing that you're going to need to get good at is going between strings. And for that, I like to use the three by three box because it's going to use the same fingers on every string. And that simplifies the fret work. You know, we're on the fifth fret of the A string with our index. And then we go up to the seventh fret with our ring finger. And then we do that on the next string, on the D string, then the G string. So just three strings in a row. And that way, our chord hand is still doing something, but we don't have to think about it too hard. You know, we can focus on our picking. And we're just gonna play on each string down up. So down, 
up. And we do that again. Down, up, down, up. And we want to get nice and even. Down, up, down, up, down, up. So that's the next exercise. And once again, we could get out our metronome. Three and four and down, up, down, up, down, up. And you just do it over and over and over again until you're pretty good at it. And then we can descend. We can go from the highest position, so on the seventh fret of the G string, putting both those fingers down, down, up, down, up, down, up. And once again, you would use your metronome with that. And at first we learn those as two separate exercises, but eventually you can put them together and you don't have to do them separately at all. You can just go down, up, down, up, down, up. And just kind of loop them. So we're going down up on each string. The picking is really simple. It's nice and even, and that's, definitely something that you want to integrate into your practice so that you can get used to going from string to string as you play down up. There's one thing that once we're comfortable with that, we can expand on this exercise by not repeating the highest and lowest notes. And this ends up flipping our picking pattern. So it would go like. So when I got to the top note, I didn't play it again. I just kept going back down, you know, up. And this flips our picking pattern around. So the way up is still the same. We go down, up, down, up, down, up. But here, we're gonna go straight to our index finger with a downstroke. So it's down, and then we, when we go to the next string, we, we're starting with an upstroke on the D string, up, down, up and then we're back to a downstroke to start so we can think about it in like five strokes at a time down up down up down and then up down up down up down up down up down up down up And I have this all written out for a reason because it takes a, a minute to like, you know, do it at your own pace and get your brain wrapped around it. And I find that sometimes you just go through the motions super slowly and experience it. And that's going to, you know, eventually sink in. And I guarantee that if you practice this, you will never get lost in the picking again. Your picking hand will kind of just follow that down up with the rhythm as you're playing. And now, that's the single string stuff that's going to help you with melodies. Now, the other fundamental that I'd like to cover is arpeggiating chords. But at this point, I feel like we've already covered so much. And I want to give you a chance to work on all of this first, because the next thing is kind of the next step. So I'm going to save that for the next lesson. Please take a moment to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and that way you'll be notified when it comes out in a few days. A quick reminder about that worksheet on my Patreon page that has all these exercises tabbed out for you. Otherwise, don't forget to grab your copy of my free ebook. I have one for lead guitar that covers picking, the pentatonic scale, hammer-ons, pull-offs, and all the other fundamentals. And if you want to take it to the next level, I also have a course, The Complete Lead Guitarist, that'll guide you through everything step by step and turn you into a confident lead guitarist who can basically show up to a jam session, play rhythm, play leads, and be comfortable improvising and expressing yourself on guitar. There's more information on that. Uh, I'll put a thing in the corner. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, have a fun time practicing and I'll see you soon.